Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Rand and I am so excited because this week we're learning all about me. Not all about Mr. Randing, all about ourselves. So what we're going to do is we have a very special all about me worksheet and we're gonna work on it together. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is write our name. My name is Mr. Brandon. What's your name? Great. Now let's write your name down on your paper. So when you're doing this, you want to use a pencil. Mr. Brandon's using a marker, so it'll be easier for you guys to see. So my name is Mr. Brandon. Now this is a time where you get to write your name on your paper. Can you write your name in this big box right here on the top of your paper? Great job. Now the next part of our worksheet asks how old we are. It says age. So we have the numbers three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you know how old you are? A lot of you are four, five, or even six. So what you're going to do is you're gonna circle the number, that's your age. So if you're four, you're gonna circle the number four. If you're five, you're gonna circle the number five. Or if you're six, you're gonna circle the number six. My age is not up here, so I'm gonna circle the biggest number on there. The biggest number on here is nine. Now the next box says, my birthday is on blank. So if you don't know when your birthday is, that's okay. You can ask your mommy or your daddy or um, a grown up that knows your birthday, what your birthday is. My birthday is August 31st. So I'm gonna write the month, August 31st. So you may need some help writing the month because some months are really, really long, like August. And some are really, really short, like June or July. Um, so you may need some help. The next part is my favorite food is blank. And that is a really, really tough question for me because I love lots and lots of food. But my favorite food is probably my granny's meatballs. My granny has amazing meatballs. So I'm going to write granny's meatballs. The next part asks what our favorite color is. It says, my favorite color is blank. Do you have a favorite color? I have a couple of favorite colors. I like purple, black, gray, but I think my favorite color right now is black. So I'm going to write black. B, L, A, C, K, black. Just like my marker is black. Then the next box says, I really like blank. So what do you like? Do you like frozen or do you maybe like zombies? Or do you maybe like princesses? What do you like? What I like to do is, or what I like, is I like to teach. I absolutely love being your teacher. So I'm going to write, I really like to teach. There we go, we finished our worksheet. Let's review. So on the top here, you're going to write your name. My name is Mr. Brandon. Over here, you're going to circle your age. Then you're going to write what your birthday is. You're gonna write about your favorite food, your favorite color, and you're going to write what you like. Now we're gonna create something called a self-portrait. So a self-portrait is a picture of you drawn by you. So I'm gonna draw a picture of myself. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna put this together with our writing worksheet to create one big project. So I have two brown eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw two brown eyes.
There we go. Now I have two really big eyebrows, so I'm going to draw two really big eyebrows. I'm gonna look at myself in the camera for a reference. You may want to look at yourself in the mirror to help you out a little bit. There we go. Now I have one nose, so I'm gonna draw a nose. And I have one big smile. Then I have a little bit of hair on the top of my head. And then I'm gonna color my shirt. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use purple. I like the color purple. There we go. That's my self-portrait. And then don't forget, make sure you write your name on the top. My name is Mr. Brandon. I'll put a little smiley face there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my writing worksheet and I'm going to put it with the self-portrait. Do you see how it kind of lines up together? So we're gonna put that together. What I use is I use tape. You can use tape, glue. Um, if you have a stapler, um, maybe mommy and daddy could staple it for you. But, ta-da! How did I do? I think I did a pretty good job. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.